Welcome to the News at 6. I'm Morgan Romero. And I'm Doug Petcash. We're continuing to follow a story we first broke on Friday. Idaho Peace Officer Standards and Training, or POST, canceled three academies scheduled for the beginning of next year. I sat down with POST Administrator Brad Johnson earlier today, and he blames record inflation. In a message to Idaho law enforcement leaders last week, Johnson said they cannot afford to hold three of their 17 academies next year. They canceled three basic academies slated for late winter, early spring. Those are patrol, detention, and emergency communications. New officers have to go through post or a post certified academy within their first year on the job in Idaho. While a handful of large agencies have their own in-house academies, this hurts most Idaho agencies, which rely on posts to get new officers trained up. Several chiefs and sheriffs told KTVB last week they had new hires signed up and ready to go. So they're really frustrated with these cancellations coming amid a law enforcement officer shortage. This also comes after Post fought for the legislature to give them another $800,000 a year from the state's liquor fund on top of their four to five million dollar yearly budget. But the cost of running these courses is apparently greater than the money coming in. Johnson says budget restraints have been going on for years. It's been an ongoing problem for posts that started before I ever got here. Um, I think we made um, a significant step forward with the, the liquor fund that we got from the legislature earlier this year. What we found is that with uh, rising costs through this inflation that we're all experiencing, um, that just wound up not being enough. It's not through anybody's fault, it's just costs, rising costs have gone up. We have to pay almost double for meals um, for those that we train here on post uh, on campus than what we had to before. Um, and those are costs we just simply can't absorb. So we're going to need to continue to work with the legislature and figure out how best we can afford to provide the training that we're mandated by statute uh, to provide. Johnson tells me they're getting the 64 impacted officers into their upcoming academies ASAP next year. Post Council is also extending the deadline to get certified beyond that one year requirement. Johnson also notes Post isn't just cutting from academies to save money, it's really across the board. They also cut back on travel, facility improvement projects, and any replacement items.